But how do you get to live into your very old age? Well, I'm going to find out from a woman who's been there and done it. Mum? This is Ainsley. This is my mum, Helen. Helen. Oh, oh, how are you? Nice to see you? Lovely to meet you too. Lovely to meet you. Do have a chair. Oh, thank there you are. very much. Helen Clare was born in Bradford in November 1916 in the middle of the First World War. It was during the Second World War, however, that she became a real household name on BBC Radio and a touring star for British troops stationed all over the world. Today, she's a hundred years young. But if you don't believe me... This is the 29th of November, 1916. Mm. So, in yes. one hand, I've got this. This is the birth certificate of Helen. And then, in the other hand, <laughs> I've got a birthday card from the Queen. A <laughs> hundred years on this earth. That is remarkable. Oh, can, can I read it out? Of course. I am so pleased to know that you are celebrating your 100th birthday. I send my congratulations and best wishes to you on such a special occasion. Of course, turning 100 used to be a slightly bigger deal than it is now. Even making national and international news back in the day. It's always been a cause of great celebration. It's never too late to ascend, might be the motto of Mrs Hannah Kettlewell, who is celebrating her 102nd birthday by having her first joy flip. There she goes, on a flight she'd waited for for over 100 years. But the first 100 years are always the worst. And reporters have always turned up to see what lessons can be learned. Well, sir, you've reached a very great age. How do you feel about it all? Well, I can't believe it myself. What's all this fascinated about me? I don't feel old. How have you many scientific discoveries? Which ones do you think have been the most useful to you? Television and the electric bakery. Throughout the decades, the number of centenarians has soared, creating some real national treasures along the way. At last count, there are over 14,000 people over the age of 100 in the UK. That's an incredible four times what it was just over 30 years ago. But it's those little moments I'm interested in. And boy, has Helen had some of those. <laughs> this is amazing. This takes you back a bit, doesn't it? It does. That was on in Western Supermare. And <laughs> staying in the hotel there one night, we heard a plane coming and we rushed into the garden to see <laughs> And we got ourselves machine guns. <laughs> you got what? <laughs> <laughs> he missed. Oh, he missed, he missed. <laughs> oh, well. I have to say, wonderfully elegant there. Wonderfully elegant. That was taken after the war. It was lovely to have lights on and... and... Mind you, for a long time, you know, after the war, we were still on rations and it, life was still a bit difficult. Sure, sure. But it was, it was a lovely relief to think we weren't being chased up the road with a dive bomb. Yeah. But, sure. of course, in Helen's long life, there has been lows too, like losing her husband, Frederick, 22 years ago. Yes, I miss him tremendously. And probably always will. Oh, but there's some lovely photographs of him all oh, over. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Handsome man. He eh? was. Whoa, yes. look at that, eh? But he was uh -oh. a wonderful musician. Mm -hmm. It's fair to say that Helen is an inspiration. She's living proof that you can be happy in old age by being a true survivor. But what's the secret of getting to 100? Well, there, is, there isn't a secret. You just... You have to be interested in things. Mm. You have to not just have your little circle. You've got to be interested in what's happening in the world and what's happening in business. And just keep your interests going yeah. and keep your sense of enjoyment going. Just be positive. Yeah. And that's the secret, is it? Well, if mm. there is one, yes, it is. So what can we take away from meeting Helen? Well, at 60, it would seem that chances are we still have plenty of years and life left in us.
But I've one last surprise for her before I go. It's a very rare recording of her singing in 1937. Now, if this doesn't put a smile in your face, nothing will. Take it away, Helen. You like potatoes, and I like potatoes. You like tomatoes, and I like tomatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Let's call the whole thing off. I tell you what, you've had the most extraordinary life. So there's one favour I'd love to ask you. Will you have a date with me? Oh, yes. <laughs> didn't have to ask much, did I? I didn't even have to cook you dinner. <laughs> I'll come and see you later. OK. The bus is dropping me off at the Central London Hotel, where she first sang way back in 1936. I've arranged for a very special treat in her honour. First, though, I better make myself look presentable. Do you know, Helen has a real zest for life, and I've arranged a little party for her, but I hope it's going to reflect that. Ah, oh, there you go. Let's go get her. Oh, why, hello, Helen! Hey! What do you think? You look fantastic! Oh, thank you, thank you. Now, I would never have been able to arrange this date without the help of the general manager here of the Grosvenor House Hotel. Ah! This is Stuart. Stuart. Helen, it's an absolute honour and a privilege to welcome you back. It's been nearly 80 mm, years since you, you last sung here. On behalf of the team, many oh, congratulations. Oh, beautiful. Our pleasure. Oh, they're lovely. Now, this might be a date, but I've also invited some others along. They're far from gooseberries. They're Helen's family and friends. <laughs> now, this is lovely. You actually performed here in this very room 71 years ago. You sang in this room, <laughs> your first gig in London. So we thought we'd get a fabulous 30s band, the Alex Med Medham Band Orchestra. Oh, wonderful. To play a little bit of something. That's fabulous. Take it away, guys. Oh. Hey guys, everyone seated. Look at that. <laughs> I've got a lovely cake over there for you. And it says, Helen, happy birthday, a hundred years and three weeks. <laughs> and each candle, there's ten candles, each candle for each decade. <laughs> hey, how about that? Everybody gonna help help blow us out? Ready? Have you stand up, stand up, ready? One, two, three. <sighs> Yes. Hey! <laughs> Fantastic! Hey! <laughs> Everyone's That's... getting excited now. <laughs> it's champagne time! Ooh, hey. And no hundredth birthday would be complete without a glass or two of centenary bubbles. Cheers, everyone. Let's clink those glasses. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers. Helen. Happy birthday. And there are two people here who are particularly excited to see Helen. Her great-grandchildren, Jeremy and Nathan, along with Mum, Amanda. Nana's a hundred. What do you think of that? Do you think that's special? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> it's very, very special. What do you think, more importantly? Oh, oh it's, it's absolutely amazing. It's wonderful to mm. have reached uh, that age and, um, and for Nana to be able to see her great-grandchildren. Oh, no, it's amazing? really wonderful. Yeah. And for them to get to know her as well. Sure. And they're actually very close to her, so yeah. it's, it's really wonderful. Oh, yes. It's wonderful, wonderful yes. that you can all come along. But the main reason I've organised this party is to make Helen feel young again, which is ultimately what holding back the years is all about. Uh, hello. hello. Yeah. Helen, we've got one more treat for you here. Yes. Yeah, one more treat. This is the Alex from the band and the two girls. Hannah and hello. Serena Dunlop. Yeah, Hannah and Serena. <laughs> and I don't know if you remember, when we were talking, you said that one of your favourite songs 
was let's call the whole thing off <laughs> and you probably performed it in this room probably over did. 70 yeah. years ago yeah and the band here Alex and the girls and the wonderful orchestra they're going to perform it for you oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> lovely. Alex take it away Say potato, you say potato, 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 tomato, tomato, let's call 